Hello, how are you? Do we live in the Matrix? We do live in the Matrix. Are aliens real? Possibly. I mean, I'm an alien. I came out as an alien on social media, so extraterrestrial. Do you feel like you're not from planet Earth? Do you feel like you could be from somewhere? I feel like there is no planet Earth. Oh, do you, oh this is an... Okay, so what do you feel like this is? A spaceship? Maybe, like, maybe we're training for something. We're going somewhere we're training This is a beautiful explanation because I talk all the time about exiting the Matrix and we live in a simulation and it's all scripted. We've done this already. That's why we experience deja vu. Do you see angel numbers? I wouldn't call them angel numbers. What do you call them? I would just say repeating numbers. But repeating angel numbers. numbers, to me, an angel is an angel of light. It's just something to see something more clearly. Like maybe it's something that sees something more clearly. I call them algorithms because everything here is a number. No, like Addresses, that. numbers, gematria. I don't know, or gematria, I don't know if you're familiar with yeah, But yes, yeah. all of this is connected. I heard you talking about stem cells. I was like, zooming in. Yeah. <laughs> I woke up this morning and the whole sky was like X's and like they it's like they do it all day every day and that's the easiest way to try to wake somebody up to say look this isn't real like the so poison. Question for you. Sure. Did you notice the interesting way they were chemtrailing before the Grammys, right? Oh. And then the ritualistic play that was the Grammys, right? Uh-huh. And then the weather suddenly shifted afterwards, but also during the Grammys that thing in Turkey happened. All of these are distractions. I didn't notice that, but the, the, the Grammys were here in LA, right? I believe, yeah. yeah, the Grammys were here. So they had all the rituals, all these people wearing red, all this symbolism, hearts out, Shakira. See, but it's, I think it's not, it tells a deeper story. It's like a metaphor for a deeper story. Like, these, these, it's like dreams. To me, I'm a dreamer. So yeah. Dreams are like the thing, you know? That's just true. Mm -hmm. Also, that's a symbol. The dream world to me is the real world, and I say it as we're in full disclosure. A lot of these entertainers sign contracts with dark entities that they have to do the work or bidding for the other side. And so they have to tell us who they are now, and they do things by wearing things, or they throw up the triangle signs, or they're disclosing things, but it's Hollywood politics, it's all intertwined, and the Epstein files coming out, like all of this stuff, like this week or whatever it is, the, the people that were related to the cases. So. It's all distractions, the chemical spills, all of that. So you're not saying aliens are distractions. They want you to focus on that, right? They're sky riding a lot, they're chem selling a lot, they have people looking up. They want you looking up for something. They want your attention focused up there. So who's your attention being focused up there? Attention is something that creates something, right? It changes things. It has the power to make the, the what is it, the, like the particle in a white wave or whatever? The wave? At 100%. The, the, what, the way I see it is they're preparing us for, for what's to come because they have technology so far advanced in us, they're never gonna let us shoot them down. Like, if, if, it, if a UFO wants to be seen, it's because it wants to be seen. And so, it's, to me, it's fake, it's all a distraction. And they get us looking up, it's like, why do we pray up, you know, when we pray? I mean, it's, it's all this symbolism, but the way, the way to me, everything exists is in the way we think. Time travel, space travel, it happens in a different way. It's through the ocean, past the Antarctic wall as well, but not the way we think of like, you know. Have you ever had dreams where you're breathing underwater or where you go underwater and there's another world that's sort of inverted? 100%, people live in the ocean. I talk a lot about this. Yeah. Something. I don't know. I've, I, I've had multiple dreams about being from an aquatic planet that I'm not from here. And, the, and that this was like, like Atlantean. Atlantean, where I'm from um, in Galveston, Texas, said to be like Atlantean roots. I spent a little time in the Bermuda Triangle, but Atlanta, it's like that familiarity of 100%, we're not from here, and Atlantis just feels like, <laughs> it feels very familiar in that we've lived multiple places, but one of them is for sure Atlantis. Aquatic dreams resonate with a whole lot of people. Yeah. You're, you're top, th do you know what a star seed is? Yeah, but I wouldn't use that word. Light worker, do you feel like, are you a high vibrational empath? Do you so you read energy? Do you want to make the world a better place? Yeah. Did you have a tough childhood? Didn't everybody? No, no, they didn't. Did Did you break ancestral lines? Did uh, yeah. most of us don't t really talk to our family anymore, and we spent our lives wandering, and people's negative frequency and their just everything it disturbs our frequency because we all our major gift is we can all read energy. Can you read energy? I don't think that the negative frequency disturbs our frequency. I think that we integrate it. I think that 
as a healing renovator. So if I pick up an energy on someone, I take that energy and I am doing something inside of myself to alchemize it. Maybe I take that chaos and I find a way to channel that chaos into me. But I don't think it I don't think there is necessarily like negative and positive or like God is terrible. I think it's more along the lines of something we have to integrate and understand to come to a point of neutrality, which is where you stop looking at like this person is evil and this person and I'm good. Instead you see like this person is ignorant. That's more along the lines. This person is ignorant. It's not that they're evil, they're just ignorant. I say I, I started this off by saying God and the devil's real, but it's an energy, but both exist in this duality matrix because you can't you would never know you're the light without the dark. You have we all have a shadow side and we all have a balance inside of us. And when you learn to, we're here like Jesus or Yeshua if you want to call it, we're here to alchemize the energy and neutralize it of others. But until you're ready to ascend, you, it's still like we can't hear negative conversation. So you're to the point now of it feels like you're a little bit the you're an enlightenment which you understand why everything exists and there's no good or bad Can but a lot sure do you think we're in the death realm like do you think we're alive or do you think we're dead somebody asked me that somebody keeps saying we're in a prison planet most of the people i interviewed have had a near-death experience and a lot of times being here feels like this is a punishment earth is the lowest density no but I, when i say death realm there's like this channel work about jesus where it was like jesus came as a light to light the way through death realm right so the people could find their way. And then if you think about like having a connection to Anubis or someone taking people through the underworld, kind of guiding them, sometimes I think that's here. I believe that's it. There's, there's so many, we're multi-dimensional beings existing in a multiverse. And I know that there's, we're here several times in several places. So I could definitely see that, that this could be the death realm because I feel like I've had four times where I've had major near-death experiences where I shouldn't be here, but I lived. And so it's like ever since then I've been tapped into the other side, whatever you want to call it. And so it's when I talk about this stuff, it's like, man, did ever did did we die and we're the angels and aliens and everybody else is just not meant to ascend this lifetime? Because a lot of times being here has felt like a punishment. Do you feel like everyone that's here has a soul? No, there's there's soulless avatars that exist here. There's a hard drive up there. They exist because you can't go through your movie. This is your movie. You wrote the, you're the star, the director. You wrote the script to your life before you came here. And you can't go through life alone. The easiest way to see it is just these places like airports. Airports, there's a lot of people that, it's like they have three lines in a movie. And you ask them, how's your day? And they know how to respond. But anything else, they can't, they have no speech. So to me, exactly, confirmation. There's no, um... There's soulless avatars here, and we call them NPCs, right? Non-playable characters that they just, they exist to, some good, some bad, but... They exist to say, hey, look over there. Hey, yeah. You're missing this. 100%. They exist to, we say obey and consume, like they're the consumers that, that they do. They have all the brands, which a lot of us do, but they, they literally go with the flow, and they have, a lot of them don't have any original thoughts, and it's not to say that's a bad thing. It's just they exist inside of this realm, and it's recognizing that everybody's on a path whether it's this lifetime they ascend or, or the next lifetime that they're on they're on the, the scale to do something <laughs> sure do you think we're underwater? i talk a lot about the firmament i do that's why i say the space travel and everything exists a different way the sky's blue prince had the song purple rain which is, prince was very spiritual and he talked about when god bleeds when god cries tears of blood the blue and the red make the purple rain and I feel like they found a crack in the firmament because they've tried to crack this thing. The Milky Way? The Milky Way? Oh, think about it. Yeah. When you see the Milky Way, what is that? It's a crack. How do I, we know that we know that this is an infinite space and time and, and period? And so that's how we say how we travel underwater and there's portals and people live inside of Mars. Like all of these things have just tapping into downloads. Do you get downloads too? Like you feel like you can get questions in real time from your high school? There's not language Answers. I wouldn't use, mainly because it's like, it's almost like, um, it's almost like it's, uh, like a, like everybody's using this language, but they're, they don't understand really what it means. So it's, I try to look for a different way of saying things than the, the typical like star Jesus, whatever, you know what I'm saying? Right. It, they can be divisive and I try to, I try to do, I'm trying to do the no labels, but I'm more than anything trying to 
explain things and, and explain people's life and why the things happened to them the way that they did because it's all scripted and when you can look back at life and say i'm thankful for that terrible moment that happened to me it was a it was the strongest lesson i got it got me to a sin so yeah this i love the way you describe this because this is it's more of a uniting when you don't have the labels and i i, I definitely see how long have you been awake you're you're a very is she very awake Hey, tell me she. Hey, I'm all about no labels. How awake? What's your name anyway? Uh, Rachel. Rachel, I just made a post yesterday. I said if you have Ra in your name, sure. then we know each other. I'm on live, my brother. Sorry, I love you. <laughs> but anyways, Ra, do you feel a connection to Egypt? We all do. Ra, the sun god. It's like there's. That's how I know that this is one big system pattern. Taurus, 420 birthday. Yeah, so it's like a, this. That's another part of the duality, but. How, how long do you say you've been awakened or at least a conscious being to know that there's more? I mean, I feel like in some way, we always... I think deep down, we... I think deep down... So there, hold on. We can't hear. Always a, there's always a distraction in the Matrix. Anyways, I feel like... Deep down as a child, I always knew I was supposed to do something special, but it was like either I couldn't get out of my own way or it was something held me back because when I when I did tap into other things, it was it's, I scared myself. I was like, wow, I'm pretty powerful. So I would say the last four years is when a lot of the world shifted and had this major awakening and wanted to go down these rabbit holes of figuring out who they are. And so for me, it's been four years. For, for, on some level, I always knew that this shit ain't adding up. <laughs> Pretty much, like the Whether Matrix. Whether feeling sense or something like that. But I would say, like, I think things are time release. I think that people can't handle everything at once. But it's like a little bit here and a little bit there. And feed them a little bit at a time. And it's kind of like allowing someone to acclimate to all of that. Because if you wake up too fast, you know, I, you've seen Bruce Almighty? Yes, but not in so long. So Jim Carrey's complaining about his life, and then Morgan Freeman is God. And he said, okay, you think my job's so easy, I'm gonna make you God. And so now Jim Carrey becomes God, starts manifesting and he's, he's getting everything he wants, but he gets all these emails in prayer form. Like imagine you pray to God at night. So he just hits approve all and it's like, you know, 10 million emails and then next thing you know, 3 million people win the lottery. And that's how I describe waking up. If everybody woke up at the same time and realized that they had all these gifts and abilities, it would be chaos, people will get, uh, pink jeeps and whatever whatever they want but it would be like they would miss the point of going through the ascension process and that's where we're at so you're right it had to happen in stages there was there was one in 2001 and one in 2012 with the mayan calendar and then 2017 2019 so this is the greatest mass awakening in history and i'm so thankful to be alive because a lot of us wanted to tap out in this incarnation it was a hard life I love what you're doing. Thank you so much. Like, I'm Book of Jonah on IG. If you get a chance, man. All right. Nice to meet you, Rachel.